What are you doing over there? I'm trying to talk to our fans. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> oh, what do we got here? Something good. Hey, guys, today we're going to do two beautiful chuck steaks. We're going to put them on the Camp Chef 2X two burner camping stove and we're gonna make them tender. I got a secret trick, trick. I got a secret trick to uh, get this done. <laughs> you right. got a trick, huh? <laughs> hey guys, I really hope you're enjoying the video. Quick mention about our membership drive. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, we have a goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers by Christmas. So we'd really appreciate you that you pitch in, hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, no obligations. You're not gonna get crank calls or emails. Thanks a lot, back to the show. All right guys, hey, welcome back to the channel. We got two beautiful chuck steaks here. And of course, Sassy here. Um, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you want me to take that camera away from her, or otherwise, uh, you know. Okay, so chuck steaks. These, these are pretty thick, they're pretty decent. Got them at Whole Foods. This isn't a uh, plug for Whole Foods. Well, I guess it is, but they're not a sponsor, but that's where we got them. So we kind of expect a little bit better grade of meat there. These are high grade uh, choice. Uh, they're not prime, but that's okay. Now, chuck steaks, you wonder why did we spend money on good quality chuck steaks and we're gonna grill them like steaks. Why not just get ribeyes? Well, I got a little, uh, method of tenderizing these that uh, I'll show you here in a minute. Mm. Well, the chuck steak, chuck roast, chuck, and it's flavorful. <laughs> it's full of flavor. <laughs> Real beefy, is that what you're trying to say? Kind of beefy, kind of like me. But they are good. There's a lot of good fat on here, guys. It's got and nice marbling, too. We're, we're gonna put them right on that camp chef, hot as bejesus. Let me show oh. you here first how we're gonna tenderize them. It's a little trick I have. All right, guys, here you go. Look at these beauties right here. Nice and thick, good quality uh, marbling there. It's ch chuck steak, guys. Okay, nice beefy flavor for the most part. Okay, so we're gonna be using some Uncle Steve Shake competition cow powder. We really like this flavor. All right, guys, so what is this you say? Well, yeah, it is no, something. No, I didn't say that. You didn't say that? So. <laughs> This little uh, doodad right here is for putting, you know, your oil and your butter and garlic and things like that and melting it down so when you're basting your steaks and stuff. But today, I'm going to show you a method I use to tenderize chuck. There you go. Beating the meat. I'm beating the meat right here. So, <laughs> yes, chuck steak's a little tough. And uh, and today is less about how thick they are, although we know they're pretty thick. They're a good inch, inch and a half. Um, but we want them to be tender. And uh, so since I'm using this plastic uh, Ziploc bag, you know, it keeps us clean, you know. I set that aside, throw away the plastic, obviously, and there you go. So the next thing I'm going to do is get a little of this avocado oil. We definitely like the avocado schmear. Get it all over there. Keeps the uh, meat really nice and uh, juicy as far as the sizzle on a, a flat top like that. Now this one kind of came apart a little bit. Now that's okay, guys. You know, this this is a... This is a backyard cook, guys, for a Saturday night dinner. Uh, and that's okay, okay? This is not a competition. Okay, guys. So now that I got the, uh, the oil on there, I'm um, just going to go ahead and apply the seasoning. Now I'm putting this on nice and thick. These are nice, larger pieces of meat here. Ooh, I love that. Okay, the patch, what are you doing? He's playing with his toys. Okay. Don't forget the side, guys. I like to get a little bit on the side. I know a lot of it's going to come off, um, but that's okay. Get the inside of that, baby. Tap, tap the inside. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. 
Oof, yeah, flip it over. There we go. Looks good. Don't be stingy with that spice, baby. You know I like it. There you go, guys. Now, Sassy thinks they're going to be really tough, but you know, I tried telling her that I knocked the bejesus out of those things with that little cast iron vessel. I'm hoping that did the trick. You know, I don't know, they might have cooked these in chuck wagons back in the day. I don't know what they did, you know, maybe they had better teeth, but uh, I think these are pretty, going to be pretty good, so let's try it out. All right. Hmm, Sassy went for that little piece that there's a little morsel hanging off there. What do you think, babe? Well, it's definitely delicious. Mm -hmm. Chuck steak is delicious. Mm -hmm. But, not a tender piece of meat, but this came out pretty good. Sassy likes it more on the medium side, medium well. I stop these at about medium rare and medium just to try to avoid getting it uh, too tough here. Um, but I think it yeah. came out really good. It's juicy. Again, I use tallow on the griddle. I use butter toward the end. And, uh, and that's it, guys. I snuck up on it, brought it up to temperature on the griddle, and then moved it into the really hot spot. Now, if you got a black stone, you know, you can turn one side down, one side up high, however you want to manage your fire. I think it came out really good, so. It was a little more tender than I thought it would be because Chuck is um, Chuck, normally Chuck pretty is tough. Chuck. Chuck is tough, yeah. But, but tasty. Anyway, yep, that seasoning from Uncle Steve Shake is really good. I'll leave a link down in the description, guys. And uh, anyway, that's it, guys. We're going to go ahead and go eat. Until next time. Bye.